Hey everybody! Today I'm gonna be doing another trash talk video. The bag I use is literally overflowing. I have been putting this off for so long. Oh my god, everything is flying everywhere! If you don't know, my trash talk videos are basically like your classic everyday empties video, but I also include things that I've decluttered. I've literally been collecting trash and it's time for me to talk about it and talk about why I'm getting rid of it if I've used it up completely, talk about if I'm gonna repurchase it, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. By the time you use something up completely, you have a pretty good idea of how you feel about it. That's what I love empties videos for. But for me personally, if it gets to a point where I haven't even used up a product entirely, but I need to get it the fuck out of my life, there's a good reason for that too. So let's talk about it. In no particular order, I'm just going to be grabbing stuff from the top down, so I don't even really remember everything that's in here. Um, except for kind of probably the first few things. So I did use up an Eva NYC dry shampoo. I like this brand for hair products. I've used up a couple of these dry shampoos. I like them just fine. I like them enough to be using another one currently right now. I love dry shampoo. I always have a dry shampoo going at all times. I have very thin flat hair, so dry shampoo is a must for me. It worked just fine. I am not like dying over the scent of it, but you know, it really doesn't matter. It's just dry shampoo. It does what it's supposed to do, and that's all I can really say about it. Oh, here's one. I finally used up these multivitamins from the brand Care Of. I got these at Target. I wish I liked multivitamins and hopefully one day I can find a multivitamin that I like. I did not like these because they smell so bad. They smell so bad, they taste so bad, they have that like strong multivitamin smell and it took me a long time to get through these because I was just like, there's a lot of voices in my hallway. I was just very put off by these and there would be a number of days where I just skipped them or I just skipped taking my vitamins entirely just because I hate these. So, will not be buying these again. I don't know if I'm going to be trying with multivitamins anymore. They're just so gross to me. I don't like having to take a vitamin and having it like stuck in my throat and thinking I'm gonna throw up because this like disgusting thing is like in my throat and my mouth. I just, I don't know, not for me. I used up a Kristen S. Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I think that I'm gonna transition into like texture sprays or like things of this nature versus a hairspray. Because again, my hair is very thin. Like this is it. This is all my hair. It's very fine very flat, it's naturally straight, but it does have a, like a little bit of a wave to it. And that's just because I have like pretty choppy layers and my hair is kind of damaged, so it kind of creates this like wavy effect sometimes. I'm pretty low maintenance with my hair. A little dry shampoo is nice for some volume and to reduce like oiliness. But I think I do like this type of product. Um, just to add a little bit of, you know, that texture, a little bit of volume, a little bit of life into my hair. That's what I liked this for. I'm not like rushing to repurchase it because I'm just working through a actual hairspray right now. But as soon as that's gone, it's going to be either this or something similar to this. Um, I felt like this was a little crispy in my hair. I didn't love the smell of it. It was just fine. It's something that like I'm open to repurchasing, but I'll probably try a few different products before I repurchase this one just to see if I like something better, but I like the idea of it. I used up a pack of Bliss makeup wipes. These are my favorite makeup wipes. I have gone through countless packs of these. I went through like a good long period where I wasn't using makeup wipes, but what resulted was that I just wasn't fucking taking care of my skin at all. Um, so it's better than nothing. It will take your makeup off, you know what I mean? So um, that's that. Ah, uh, this is a little thingy from AOA Studio. This is the Coconut Water Complex 10% Cleansing Water. Ah, uh, I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. Well, I do. It's kind of like, if you think about like what a micellar water is, it's kind of just like 
a cleansing liquid. It removes makeup. It does like a very gentle, very like minimal cleansing of the skin. I loved this product. I like a lot of things from, this is like their shop, the Shop Miss A brand. AOA Studio is from Shop Miss A. So this was like $1.77. It looks like just a little sample, but it's actually 25 milliliters. So to compare it to like a full size Garnier, whatever, which by the way, they're cruelty free, fun fact. Um, it's a new thing, but yeah, they are cruelty free. This is 400 milliliters. So 16 of these fits into this. Am I doing that math right? Four goes into a hundred and then four of those goes into 400 and four times four is 16. Yeah. And so like this is probably like seven or eight dollars. I want to say. And then, um, 16 of these are going to be like a little less than 20. So it's actually, when you actually do the math, um, it's actually not like the greatest deal. A lot of things from the AOA skincare line are actually a pretty good deal. I am using a couple of their other products right now, but this just like, I went through it so fast. It, it lasted me probably about like seven uses, I wanna say. And then when you consider like ounce for ounce, it's just not a good deal, but it sucks because I loved this product. It removed my mascara like, none other like nothing has ever done before i know that they make a waterproof removal version garnier and i'm probably gonna try that because this was just too good and it smelled so good it smelled kind of like like a mojito a little bit it made my skin feel really nice i loved it and i'm actually sad that it's gone and i'm sad that i've done the math and come to the realization that like this is actually one of those products that's not really worth the money, but damn, it really is good. Oh, I used up these Mighty Patch uh, Micropoint for Dark Spots patches. I bought these a long time ago. I bought them because it was like really busy in the store. I wanted the pimple ones and I just fucking picked these up and brought them home and then realized they were for dark spots and I was like really disappointed. Didn't use them for a long time. Finally started using them. I burned through them pretty quickly but I had a couple breakouts on my forehead, like hormonal breakouts, and just for science reasons, like I had two around the same time, like within a couple days of each other. So I put these on one of them and not the other, and I don't know. It's not like the best scientific method, but the one that I used these patches on was like almost gone completely by the time like the other one was still kind of barely you know starting to heal i don't know what the magic is but it works it works very well but these are like 13 dollars for six of them and i went through this whole pack in a few days niacinamide vitamin c just get some niacinamide serum and you'll be just fine it really did make that dark spot whoa it really did make that dark spot disappear like pretty quickly but i'm also a patient person and i own concealer and i'm just not going to spend 13 dollars on this again but i will tell you if you have the money to burn go for it these actually like surprisingly worked very well i'm very impressed oh yeah i got these 4-3 beauty detox purifying cleansing wipes i actually like these quite a bit they smelled really really good i used these like when i was in a very very deep depressive episode um and i was like very unable to take care of myself properly i would take off my makeup if i was wearing makeup with a makeup wipe and then i would just like clean my skin with these and you know they were a lifesaver they came in clutch when i needed them i feel like they worked pretty well my skin didn't really feel dry but it also didn't feel dirty or like greasy or like nasty i didn't have any skin issues um so yeah probably won't repurchase them just because like there's other things that i have my cellar water is the same kind of thing but i liked these would recommend oh Mm, I used up a candle. Is there another one? Yeah, you know what? Let's go through both of these together. Oh, I used up a couple candles from um, Porcelain Wick, the Twilight Candle, and the Sultry Candle. This is the second Sultry Candle I've gone through. Mm. 
Mm. I recently found out how shameful it is for my candles to look like this, like all sooty at the top. But I am so good about trimming my wicks, and I will admit, I do let my candles burn for like a lot longer than the recommended, like up to four hours or whatever it is. Yeah, four hours, no. I'll let them burn like up to eight, maybe more. But I'm always right there. I keep a good eye on it. And then, you know, whenever I'm done with it and I blow it out, I trim the wick so I don't let it get like nasty in there. But I just learned that this um, is really bad and I should be embarrassed. Oh, they smell so good. The sultry, sultry is so good. It's, I think sultry is my favorite candle from Porcelain Wick. I get these from Etsy, Porcelain Wick. They're great, man. Yum. I used up a NYX Epic Ink. I don't know. It was dry last time I tried to use it. Uh, now it's okay. You know, the Epic Ink liners, they are so good for um, a month. And then they just go to shit so fast. But with the price point, it's worth it. And even when they start to go to shit, you can still kind of work with it. But you will get this like a bubble of product that comes out. So annoying. And they will be like bone dry and then the next day they're perfectly fine do you see that do you see what just happened do you see that anyway um yeah they'll do that also the caps start to get like really difficult to take off after a while that is why mine always end up with like teeth marks on them because that's how i get it off sometimes you'll try oh gross yeah see <sighs> Dude, I have such a love-hate relationship with NYX Epic Ink Liners. There's one in, if not every Trash Talk video, every other Trash Talk video that I've done. And I always complain about them, but you know what? I always repurchase them because they are that good when they're good. And even through the problems, they're okay. Oh god, I forgot about this. This is from... I did a video a while back of like a full face of, why am I so close to the camera lens? I did a video a while back of like a full face of Shein makeup just for fun, just to see what it was all about. I did find some faves. I love some of their lip products. Their concealer is pretty good. This video is not about that. This is one of the products that I got and it's like this brow pen. Yeah, there you go. It's like this brow pen with these like little Forks? What is that called? Like little prongs? It's, it's supposed to help you with like your stroke game. If you like to draw like hair like strokes, it's supposed to make it easier because it gives you like four strokes at a time. I don't know. I felt like it was fine. Um, wasn't my favorite. I was honestly really happy to be done with it. Eventually it dried out really bad, but it would do this weird thing where it's like really, really dry. So you're using it as if it's like pretty dry. And then out of nowhere, it will deposit like a shitload of product. And it ruined my brows a couple times, but whatever. Never gonna buy it again. I don't really like products like this. I've been curious about them. I think Huda Beauty has one like this. So I thought I'd give it a try. Didn't like it. I'm just a pencil gal. Pencil and brow gel, you know? Or like a brush tip pen. Don't like this one. Don't like it. Glad it's gone. <laughs> what else? What else? I used up a, yeah, I used up a powder foundation. I, you know, I try to be a tinted moisturizer ass bitch. I really try every now and then. It's just not for me. I just, I love like a good skincare routine, great moisturizer, sunscreen, powder, and then like a really hydrating spray on top. I feel like it lasts longer on me throughout the day. I think the application is easier. I think it looks better. I prefer powder, um, like blushes and highlights. So just like, I just like a powder. And this one is great. I've gone through mm, probably like five of these. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Satin Matte Powder Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Cannabis Sativa. 420, baby. I didn't know it had that in it. Dude, I, I like it a lot. I, I like it a lot. Um, I used to use like, you know, Studio Fix Powder when I worked for MAC. And I feel like this is a pretty good comparison when it comes to like the coverage, but it's not so dry. I mean, it is a powder, but 
Um, I feel like it's like a creamier powder. I feel like it doesn't really suck the life out of your skin like other powder foundations do. So I, um, I will use this when I feel like I want a little bit more coverage or when I'm feeling a little more high maintenance. And then I'll use like a loose sheer to medium powder when um, I'm feeling any other way. And so, you know, I like having this in my back pocket and my arsenal and I'll continue to repurchase this. However, I just saw that e.l.f. came out with a powder foundation, but it's like the same price as this one. So I don't even know if it's worth it to like try that other one. ColourPop just came out with a pressed powder. So we'll see, we'll see. It's always my ultimate goal in life to find products um, for the lowest possible amount of money, but still like be really good. So, you know, this one's like $11, I think. And it's pretty good. So if I find something less expensive, I'll definitely try it. Here we go. If you've been around, you know. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. If you've been watching any of my makeup videos, application videos over the last three or four months, you know. It is time. Dudes, it is time for me to throw these away. I almost said delete them. I wish they would be deleted from existence. Past, present, and future. These are the Kiss Flirty Lashes. There is one pair left in there. So, I mean, technically this might be able to be considered a declutter instead of a, um, like, tr like used it up kind of. Um, empty is the word I'm looking for. But these have been used. It doesn't even f***ing matter. I am so happy to have these out of my life. When I, I'm at like almost the bottom of my bag. Oh my God, there's something leaking in here. Yuck. Yuck, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. When I saw these sitting there, I got like, my heart started racing. <laughs> I got like nervous and scared. Um, I had a trauma response when I saw these lashes sitting there. These are the worst lashes I've ever had the unpleasant experience of using and of course I got a fucking five pack and I'm not one to waste money so I made them work but you know what I wish I would have just fucking thrown these away because they ruined my life they are the hardest lashes to use you would expect they'd be like fine the band is thin the lashes are full they have that kind of like foam mink kind of look um they look like they'd be really pretty but when they are applied to the eye i don't know what happens but the band like twists around so the lashes are incredibly fucking wonked going in all different directions there's no way around it and something about it you can't get it like real close to the lash line there is always a gap in between well at least for me, my lashes and the false lashes. And you can kind of fill that in with liner, but it just never looked right. Nothing of, no aspect of these lashes looked good or right. Not only how they looked, but just like how fucking annoying it was to try to put them on. The glue like stuck to them funny. It just, I hate these. The Kiss Flirty Lashes need to burn up in flames every single one of them every single one of them burn in hell i hate these and that's it they're out of my life now and they no longer exist to me they are dead don't remember who they are at all they're gone i used up a ColourPop brow pencil ew it looks really gross um in dope taupe i love this brow pencil this is probably one of my favorite brow pencils i use it a lot i have a couple backups and i will continue to have it forever. I'm so upset because, um, okay, there's one more empty. Ew, it's all goopy because something spilled in here and I need to deal with it. But I used up a hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. I love The Ordinary. I use three of their serums right now. Um, and this is one of them. I've already opened my backup and I'm already using it and I love it. And that's all I have to say about it. It's great. I also love the little dropper bottles. I save them, like I keep water in one of them. I keep mixing medium in another. 
Um, alcohol. I, I just like these little dropper bottles. They're really nice. Those were all of my empties. Now I'm gonna talk about my declutters, the things that I didn't use up completely, but it was just time for them to go. Oh, I just lied. I just told a bold-faced lie. There's one more empty. It's from The Ordinary, hair care, multi-peptide serum for hair density. Listen, gimmick product. I'll say it, it's a gimmick product. Maybe if you use it all the time, every day, for months, maybe years, you would see a difference. I'm not that consistent, never been that consistent with a single thing in my life. I will never be that consistent. So when I'm using a product that requires consistency for it to work, it's just not a product for me. This is one of those products. Eventually I used, I had like half a bottle left and I just used it all up in one go. I just literally covered every inch of my hair and scalp in the serum and then I like let it sit for a day and then I washed it out and you know, that's how I used it. <laughs> my camera is about to overheat so I have to let it calm down, let it cool down a little bit and then come back and then we'll do declutters. Okay, let's get into the declutters where I can be even more petty. So some things are just kind of like old so let's get those out of the way. Um, I am decluttering the Aveda Hand Relief Hand Cream that I have. I love this hand cream. Um, I love it so much. I get, so I live in a very cold climate in Minneapolis. It gets freezing, below freezing. Like the worst way it affects me, other than just being uncomfortable all the time, is the backs of my hands get extremely dry. Like I have had cracked bleeding hands because of how dry the specifically like around my knuckles I don't know I don't know why it's just always been that way and the Aveda hand cream is one of the only things if not the only thing that like I have found that provides like relief and like doesn't sting a lot of hand creams are like pretty good but they'll sting um this one is so good it's just so soothing and nice it makes my skin so soft it helps to relieve dryness and like roughing roughness i i don't know um this one started to smell like pickles so it's time to get rid of it there's still like a little bit left in there but you know it's it's old ah it's this is old um couple years old at least and i have a couple other hand creams that i need to work through so i'm just not going to re purchase this uh, probably for another year or two. Um, right now I'm using the Trader Joe's Rose Oil Ultra, uh, Ultra. Well, I cannot talk today. My brain is fried, dude. Um, a Rose Oil Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. This smells heavenly, delightful. I wouldn't say that it's like as good as the Aveda one, but it's pretty good. It's nice and thick. It smells so good. I have a few uh, liquid eyeshadows, a couple from Stila, the Into the Blue Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, um, and the, I had to read that three times, Peach Pretense um, Liquid Glow, Little White Lies Liquid, I don't know, these are so old, probably can't even get them anymore. They're extremely old, but I've been holding on to these because they weren't like dried up yet and they were very expensive. So I just kept them until they were dried up. Now they're dried up and now they gotta go, but they're so pretty. I love these little Stila thingies. They're just so expensive and um, e.l.f. makes some that are literally like on par, like just as good and so much cheaper. So sorry Stila, you're never getting my money again, but these were good while they lasted. And then I have one from Wet n Wild that was actually like pretty good. It's really pretty. The Liquid Cat Suit in Goldilux. So pretty, it's like a, um, it's called Goldilux, but it's definitely more of like a sagey green with silver shimmer. Stunning, beautiful. It just dried up, time for it to go, but I loved it. Um, what else is old? Oh, another one, the Moondust Liquid Eyeshadow from Urban Decay in the shade Recharged. Same kind of thing, beautiful, stunning, very gorgeous, love it so much, it just got dry. Um, this one is like a rose gold. Love it. Rip. Oh, fucking, this is the thing that leaked all over everything and I should have dumped it out first. 
before I put it in my bag of empties because one of the things I hated about this product, this is the Grinactive Retinoid 2% in Squalane from The Ordinary. Um, the fucking cap never worked like it was never able to actually like close and I should have thought about that didn't think about it so yeah it leaked over everything it was like an oil I would use it at night and like I'm not gonna lie it made my skin feel really fucking good so soft and smooth so nice um I just don't like the feeling of oil on my skin and maybe that will change in the future as my skin becomes more mature but for now I just don't like it. I don't like how it feels, I don't like how it looks, I don't like how you apply it because you can't rub it in like a moisturizer, you kind of like tap it in and I just didn't, it's just not for me personally but it made my skin really really nice. It was really nice. Yeah, I decided to get rid of it just because I wasn't using it and I had realized that it, you know, it's been a few years since I bought it. Probably just, probably expired, I don't know. Um, damn, dude, it leaked everywhere. Everything is so gross now. I'm getting rid of the KVD Super Brow. Technically, this was Kat Von D before the controversy, before anyone knew about anything, I bought the bleach brow pomade and I used it like twice maybe. Um, bleached brows are not for me. Um, my eyebrows are, you know, one of my best features. So <laughs> I think. So when I bleach them out and they disappear, first of all, it makes my forehead look massive. And second of all, like one of my favorite parts of my face is like, almost invisible because my skin is the color of bleach so it's just like I don't know the bleached brows look is so cool and I wish I could be a bleached brows bitch but I just can't so I, I'm getting rid of it I'm getting rid of a uh, um, ABH dip brow in taupe again it's just old it's still creamy like I could still use it but I'm just not a pomade person I really wanted to be a pomade person I tried really hard I'm just not. I'm just not. And I know you can get a really pretty natural soft brow with the dip brow. Technically that's what it's for. I don't wanna. Next I'm getting rid of, oh this is technically an empty. This is the ColourPop eyeliner in the shade. Teaspoon. Grass green. Love it. Used it up. Um, it did get pretty dry. It did make my eyes start to feel kind of weird. Yeah it's just really pretty. I really like colored eyeliners. I want another grass green. If I don't already have one, I need to check and see. Um, I Yeah, it's just nice. It's a nice thing to have if you like to do colorful looks like me. Um, Oh my god, look it. I have like barely anything left in here. I just couldn't bring myself to use it up. I hate this product so much. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. I got this for free in like, oh my god, Ulta does these bags that they put together that are so nice. I've had a few of them already and you only need to spend, I think it's like $65 or something, like pretty easy to spend that amount and you get this like bag. This bag came from one of those bags full of shit. Um, like this eye cream I'm using, Strivectin. They're not cruelty free, but this was free, so I'm using it. Um, this eye cream, like the value of this is like, like $15, because the full size is like $45. Um, for free. Just for free. Um, so yeah, I, when I see that Ulta is doing those promotions and I have like a bunch of shit I want anyway, I will usually pull the trigger at that point because I love the little bags, the little assortments. Some of them are shitty, like little tiny baby samples, but some of them are pretty good. This came in one of them. So, oh my God, I have to sneeze again. So I was using this like during my skincare routine. So I still need to figure out if I'm like overdoing it or not but I read that when you use hyaluronic acid so I use that hyaluronic acid from the ordinary the serum that hyaluronic acid is a humectant which means that it does not hydrate like it itself does not hydrate what it does is it pulls moisture from around itself so what that means is if you put on hyaluronic acid and you live in Minnesota in December. It's January right now, bitch. It's just dry. What hyaluronic acid is gonna do, because there's no moisture around, like, outside of you to draw into the skin, it's 
I don't even know if this is true. I need to figure this out. Is that it pulls moisture from the skin. So that kind of scared me because I like the idea of using hyaluronic acid, but I just need to figure out um, if it scares me or not. So what I was doing was like I would put my hyaluronic acid on and then I would spray this because this would give that like hydration and water is the first ingredient and it would like kind of like activate the hyaluronic acid to work for me, not against me. That was my thought process. This product is so gross. Glycerin is the fourth ingredient, um, but it seems as if it's the first ingredient. It seems as if I'm spraying glycerin right onto my skin when I use this. I don't know, dude. It's like a high concentration or something is going on with this spray because I would spray it on my skin and it would be like, there would be this like film, like this grease layer over my skin. And so like trying to put makeup on on top of that was like a nightmare and it would get like pilly and it just like, I hated it, hated it. And I, dude, look at, look at how much is left in there. I gave this thing a really fair chance. I tried my best and I got to this amount left and I just said, I can't do it anymore. This is not like me. I don't give up like this, but I did with this. I did, I gave up. Horrible product. So now I use just rose water. So still doing the same kind of thing with the hyaluronic acid because I'm a crazy person. That is that. And then finally, thank God, um, this palette from She Glam. So this is also one of those products that I used in that video of using a full face of Shein makeup. <sighs> this fucking thing. Oh, every single shade in here was such a disappointment. Some of these shimmers look so pretty. Oh, they're not. They're not. They are sheer with glitter. It's sheer, no pigment. I don't know, there's like some kind of binder, some ingredient holding it all together, but when you apply it, where does it go? Somewhere, and it just leaves glitter behind. Um, and I love glitter, but not like this. Um, the mattes are also the same way. You start to blend them and where did they go? I felt bad because like I bought this whole palette. I did spend money on it, which sucks. Um, and I used it uh, one time in the video and then I did it, use it one more time to try out the neutrals. Same thing, they suck, hate them. One of the worst formulas I've ever put on my eyes. So bad, so bad. And I, so I was like, I need to keep this palette because I've used it twice. That's not enough times to use something before you get rid of it. No, it is because it's bad. It's objectively horrible. There will never be a time in my life when I use this palette instead of anything else ever. So I need to get rid of it. And dude, it sucks. It's hard, but I got to do it. I have been told, even in that Shein video that I made when I first said this palette is dog shit, I got a couple comments that said like Shein eyeshadows are actually like pretty decent. You just kind of have to get lucky and like pick a good one. Um, this one didn't have a ton of reviews. I picked it literally just based on the color story. I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, so maybe I need to be a smarter consumer. Maybe I need to try again with their shadows and like get a better palette, something with more reviews do a little more research, watch videos, whatever, because I do want to see how their good formula is. This is just not it. That's it. Um, That was it. My trash, my garbage. Literally, this is going. What can't be recycled is going in the trash. Hope you liked it. And um, that's, dude, I am out of words. I've used them all for the day and I'm out of them now. So let me know what else you want to see from me. I post uh, once a week here, most weeks. So subscribe if you want to see more. All of my social media will be linked down below. If you want to be friends, let's be friends. And as always, I just want to say thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.